Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. In this video we have to analyze the Bitcoin price because currently we are seeing this continuation of this pullback right down to the support which now should be holding right at around $22,500. We have to analyze my expectations and also the targets for the bullish and also bearish scenario. Then of course we're going to have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the US dollar index and Nasdaq. So if you want to trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage or if you just want to earn some cryptos then make sure to sign up to Bybit with the link in the video description because right now there is a special offer going on. You have a $4,500 deposit bonus if you use my link and next to that after you signed up for the next 30 days you have 0% maker fees. So for the first 30 days you have completely no fees if you buy cryptos on spot. So definitely check out Bybit with the link in the video description and if you have already an account just make a new one with my link because like that you profit the most. And now my friends, let's dive here straight into the daily time frame for Bitcoin because as you can see after this sell signal that we got and after this bearish divergence that we created, we had in the RSI a slight lower high, but in the price action we had a higher high. Currently we are seeing now this playing out and here right at the median line of the Keltner channels and at the 20 daily moving average at around $22,500, we should expect a lot of support coming in and a potential higher low compared to this one and afterwards push higher towards a new higher high. If Bitcoin is breaking this structure with higher highs and higher lows, then of course we are running in a huge uh, dangerous phase because then it's very likely that we are coming all the way back down to the bottom of the Keltner channels at around $20,000. And you know what would happen if we would see daily closes below of it. Then of course we would see the bearish scenario playing out that at the end we most likely are crashing all the way down towards $16,500 and maybe even lower towards $14,000. This is where this support trend line is lining up right now. I don't expect this scenario to playing out to be honest because I think that the Bitcoin is potentially bottoming out here and that we are in for a nice relief rally probably up towards $35,000 but if we would lose this support here at $22,500 then things will start to look ugly especially if we're having then the first uh, lower low. So if we see a daily close below $21,200, then it's very likely that this uptrend is uh, done for now. And we're entering again in a downtrend since although we still have negative money flow and this is of course bearish. And that's why, in my opinion, we maybe are going sideways or maybe even coming back down to retest the 20K area, but I don't expect here the bearish scenario to playing out that we will uh, reach here the 16 to 14 thousand dollars era for Bitcoin in the, in the next uh, coming days and weeks. I expect more sideways or then also more continuation to the upside at the end. Because if we zoom out here into the bigger time frames like the weekly, you can see that currently we are trading right at the 200 weekly moving average. And if this week we can close above the 200 weekly moving average, we confirmed it again as a support. And then I think that for the next coming weeks, we will head up here towards the top of the EMA ribbons and this resistance trend line from this uh, falling broadening wedge. And of course, also from the top of the Keltner channels, all lining up at around 35,000. Dollars. So the weekly time frame is still looking good, especially if this week we can close above $22,500 right where we have the 200 weekly moving average lining up. And if we switch over into the immediate short term, like the four hour time frame, you can see that here we are quite oversold. So a bounce is incoming in my opinion. And if we can remain, especially in the daily base above the median line of the Keltner channel, so above uh, the $22,500 area, I think that here we could get a nice buy signal and also a long opportunity if you're trading, for example, over on Bybit with leverage. If you are not sure if the price maybe is coming down towards the 16 to 14K area, if you're gonna open up a long position right now, then just enter with low leverage, like 2X or 3X, because like that, your liquidation price will be way below $14,000. So even though this pullback is still in play and we could of course uh, head lower, I think that here $22,500 must hold, then we can expect a continuation to the upside to test here first the 100 daily moving average at $26,600 and at the end also this resistance up here at around 35K. Only once we have daily and weekly closes above 35K, then I think we can look out for very bullish targets in the not so distant 
future but until then just a relief rally up towards this price level in my opinion is very very uh, likely and the same thing goes also here for ethereum also here we are just coming down to the median line of the Keltner's channels if ethereum is having a daily close below that of course could be a leading indicator that also uh, for bitcoin we will see then continuation to the downside and the uptrend is uh, over for now but also here if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that ethereum is still holding nicely here above the 200 weekly moving average and also here i'm expecting a nice run up to test here the top of the Keltner's channels and also this resistance trend line from this falling broadening wedge at around two thousand seven hundred dollars and if we have a look now into the US dollar index you can see that currently we are having a little bounce out of this new support trend line that we have here at around 105 dollars also if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that the potential buy signal is about to appear since we're quite oversold after this uh, huge pullback and we are currently touching the 50 daily moving average the support trend line and also the the bottom of the Keltner channel so here a bounce is likely but at the end i think that also here we're getting somewhere rejected between 106 to 107 dollars and afterwards continue the downtrend and if we will do so then we're going to see nice continuation to the upside both for the crypto and stock market because also nasdaq here is about to get a pullback probably also down towards the median line of the Keltner channels since here a potential sell signal is just about to appear probably today or tomorrow and this of course can take us down towards the median line of the Keltner channels so pullback in my opinion in the next coming days is very likely also here for bitcoin it could be already over in maybe one or two days but if we would see daily closes below this support then be prepared that we can test again the 20k area and this one is really the last resort for the bulls before a huge catastrophe move way below twenty thousand dollars i don't expect that but just be ready for that scenario as well especially if we would lose here this structure with higher highs and higher lows in the daily time frame all right my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos check out all the referral links to bybit because with all of them you will get those four thousand five hundred dollars in trading bonus and you have currently zero percent maker fees with the link that you find here in the video description so definitely take advantage of that and make sure to also sign up to all the featured youtube channels that you find also in my youtube channel so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye